Hey everybody, on today's episode we're going to be putting a shelf on my desk to try to clean everything up. Um, I've got something coming that's going to be going on top of the desk, so I need more room um, to be able to make that fit. Enjoy! <laughs> I'm also going to be trying out this new camera that I got, um, so sorry if the video quality gets weird or anything like that, I haven't really used this before. As you can see, we already have this back part and a side part for our shelf, so all we need is something here for the front. So what we'll do is measure from here to here. What I like to do for taking measurements is, uh, either like a note in your phone book or something like that so that you don't have to remember all of them. working on now is I want the shelf to come all the way out to here and all the way to the back of this peach which means I'm going to notch it um, either notch it here so that it's well you'll still have a shelf at this part or just make it flush with this front piece I might just make it flush with the front piece and add in um, a smaller piece Decide that we are just going to go with cutting it, cutting a piece, and then making a smaller piece for that index part. Um, I do have a jigsaw, and I could go ahead and cut it out that way if I wanted to, but I don't want to. Take it too. So I'm going to do since I don't have a square, I'm going to mark 49 inches on. Alright, we are now back inside, um, as I said before, this piece fits perfectly. Um, I've got another camera here so you guys can see what's going on. Normally you'd want to get a level and make sure that you're level across here, but since we have this piece here already, we just need to level it up 
with this piece. And what I've found is the easiest is to get it level and stick a clamp in there. And then the clamp will hold it so you can actually attach it if you don't have someone with an extra, you know, you don't have a buddy or something with you with an extra set of hands, you still have to hold it so it doesn't flop down like that. But it at least gives you your right level so you can hold it one handed and still screw um, it in or staple it or whatever you're going to do. Don't mess yourself up. In theory, this works great. I'm just kind of going at an angle. Alright, now let's do the other side. Alright, so we've got our support piece in. We can remove our clamps now. Alright, I'm going to grab the piece of plywood that we cut for here and we'll see how it fits. did mess up a little bit, cut it a little bit too short, um, but I think we are going to be good. Part of my problem is it wasn't square when we when I started it off, but see this is what I was talking about, I either needed to notch it or build a new piece for it. Um, I think I'm just going to cut a piece because I still have a piece of the same plywood left that's treated like this that we can fit into there. I went out to the shop real quick and just cut a little piece. And now we've got a full shelf. It's a little bit off. Just because the the piece underneath it's slightly lower than the cross piece, but it works. Here's the shelf, it's in. I've got all my filament on it, which frees up some space on my desk and I don't have a big giant bin just sitting in the middle of the floor like I did before. What I'm thinking about doing is, because um, I do live in a kind of a wet area, I'm gonna stick a dehumidifier probably right here in this corner so that all of this filament will stay dry and I do have an extra dehumidifier that I can just do that with. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. As I alluded to earlier, I have something coming tomorrow, which will be yesterday for you guys when this video goes out, but um, hopefully the next video I put up will be of unboxing that and a little bit of setup, so that should be pretty fun. Uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Um, I usually do more 3D printing and technology stuff. This was just kind of a cool thing that I was doing, so I figured I'd film it for you guys. Um, all the social media links are down in the video description. And see you guys next time. Bye.